In a recent video, I went over the total cost of Marriott Vacation Club, timeshare ownership. And I was kind of astounded at how much it really did cost. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you six ways that you can save on one of those biggest expense items, and that's the upfront cost. Let's talk about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I am Jeremy. Today we're gonna to be talking about six ways that you can save on Marriott Vacation Club timeshare ownership. And if you haven't seen that previous video that I mentioned in the intro, kind of the total all-in cost, how much does Marriott Vacation Club cost overall through the entire life of ownership? I actually went over a 30-year time span. Well, I'll put a link to it right up here so you can go and check that out. But in today's video, I'm gonna be covering the six ways to kind of help reduce that upfront cost. Kind of one of the significant portions of the purchase, probably the biggest sticker shock you might have when you're looking at Marriott Vacation Club timeshare ownership. So first up here is to consider buying Marriott Vacation Club points on the external resale market. You can save significant amounts of money by essentially just going and finding another owner that wants to sell their points and hey, you can pick them up yourself. So I actually did a previous video kind of comparing the differences between resale points and purchasing points directly from Marriott Vacation Club. I will put a link to it right up here. So feel free to check that out after this video. But this is a way you can probably save at least 50% kind of all in on that upfront cost. There are some fees payable to Marriott when you make a purchase of resale points and that is $3 per point with a minimum of $3,000. There are some other fees there, and that is, of course, on top of whatever resale price you've agreed to purchase from the seller. Now, consider all in, though. Like I mentioned, you're probably gonna be able to get this for about half the price of purchasing direct from Marriott Vacation Club, essentially those kind of full freight developer points that they sell. Now on to number two, and that just happens to be a bundle package. This is actually a pretty good way to save money, kind of when you consider all of the points that you're getting. So what exactly is a bundle package? Well, this is where you're buying a number of points directly from Mary Vacation Club. So these would be a bound club trust points. And then you're also buying a resale week from the Mary Vacation Club resale department. And kind of all combined, when you combine the points that you would get from that resale week with those points that you're buying direct, well, you can get that cost per point, kind of again, in that 50% range of essentially what full developer club points cost. Now you might be thinking, hey, a resale week, well, you can't enroll that in a bound. Well, truth is, if you're buying it as part of this bundle package, you might also have heard this called a hybrid package. But when you do this, they're actually going to enroll that resale week purchased through them in the abound club points program. Now consider though, this resale week, it's gonna be more expensive than just going out and buying a resale week from someone else on the external market. But you do get the benefit here of an enrolled week and trust points. And again, about half the cost of club points directly from Marriott Vacation Club. Now on to number three, and this just has to be what we'll call the enrollment promotion. This one's gonna require a little bit of pre-planning. So what you'll need to do here is Go out and find a resale week on the external resale market, not necessarily from Marriott Vacation Club. It can be really from just about anybody that's looking to sell a week. You wanna find a good week that maybe has low maintenance fees per point when you kind of look at how many points that week will elect for. Now, when you're buying that week, you won't be able to enroll it automatically in the Marriott Vacation Club Abound Points program. So now when you have this week, what you now then do is usually every year, in around April of the year, they kind of open up what they call their enrollment promotion. What this enrollment promotion essentially allows you to do is go out and purchase Marriott Vacation Club trust points directly from Marriott Vacation Club. And while you're doing that, they'll also allow you to enroll an external resale week. Now, it can be pretty expensive here. What you might be finding is minimum of 3,000 3,500 points to purchase from Merit Vacation Club in order to enroll just one week. You might need to then purchase 
4,000, 4,500 in order to be able to enroll maybe up to three, four, five or more weeks. They do usually have a cap, kind of changes a little bit year to year. Now this isn't something that is always guaranteed, but they have done it for the last number of years. Now on to number four, and that just happens to be to purchase a week directly from Marriott Vacation Club in the Caribbean or in Europe. So these would be resorts in the Caribbean, whether it's Marriott's St. Kitts Beach Club, the Aruba Surf Club, potentially even the Ocean Club. That one though isn't as common, or the three resorts mainly in Spain. At those resorts, Marriott Vacation Club still sells actually weeks. And when they sell them at retail, essentially those weeks come automatically enrolled in the Abound Points program. You might actually be able to find here that you can get a week at one of these resorts when you consider the amount of points you would get for that week when it is elected for points. Well, it might come out to half or even less than half of what Marriott Vacation Club is charging for full retail points in the domestic United States. And guess what? A power tip here is to actually use the purchase of a Caribbean or European week to take advantage of that enrollment promotion. So you can actually buy a week in the Caribbean or in Spain and also use that to potentially enroll a resale week that you purchased on the external market. There are going to be limits here. You do have to probably spend at least a minimum of $27,000 US, but it is a great way to enroll an external week by buying a week in the Caribbean or in Europe. And it's really the power move to do if you're looking to take advantage of that. And now on to the next two, the next one being number five. And these ones here won't be a way to significantly reduce your costs, but it is a way to get a little bit of an extra discount here. The first one is to make sure you're going into a timeshare sales presentation on an Encore package. Encore package, something you can purchase at the end of a timeshare sales presentation where you said, no, I'm not interested. What they do is they come in at the end of that, they try and sell you a future stay at that resort or maybe another resort that you're interested in going to. Usually good for maybe three, four, five nights at a resort. Costs anywhere from maybe 900 up to a couple thousand dollars. And it gives you those nights at the resort as well as maybe some additional Bonvoy points or some club points as well. So what this is, is kind of like a promo package that you might get for free or you might pay a couple hundred dollars for. Well, a little bit more expensive here. But when you're going in on one of those, what they'll do is if you make a purchase directly from Marriott Vacation Club, well, they will then subtract whatever you paid for that Encore package from your purchase price. So it's kind of a way to get a free stay at a resort. Well, maybe not free because obviously you're buying points directly from Marriott Vacation Club, but it is a way to kind of get a little bit of bonus on top of that because you're getting kind of that extra free stay some extra Bonvoy points or club points, and you're also getting that discount off of your points purchase. Now the next one here, kind of very similar to that, but maybe you don't have an Encore package to go on because you haven't been to any previous timeshare sales presentations. Well, this next one is actually what they call a linkage credit. And what it essentially does is just simply requires you to have a stay either before or maybe even after the current stay that you're on staying at a Marriott Vacation Club timeshare property when you're going to the timeshare presentation. So let me break this down a little bit more to make it a little bit more simple here. Maybe you're flying somewhere for a trip, but the night before your flight, you're gonna stay at a hotel. So you're ready to go the next morning for your flight. Well, have that stay booked. And then when you're at the timeshare sales presentation, let them know that you had a stay at a Marriott property, provide them with that confirmation number, and they'll give you a linkage credit valued, I believe at $1,500 off. So if you don't have that Encore package that might be a free $1,500 stay, well, you're getting a $1,500 discount off of that purchase just because you stayed at a Marriott Hotel property prior to your stay. This might also work after your stay as well, or maybe at some time period prior to your stay. Maybe it wasn't the night before your trip. Maybe it was the prior seven days, prior 14 days. They will give you this linkage credit just a little bit of an extra discount on your Marriott Vacation Club timeshare purchase. So I'm kind of curious, have you purchased Marriott Vacation Club abound trust points? Maybe you're considering it, or if you did, 
Maybe you want to check out this video up here, learn about your right of rescission. So you can instead go and take advantage of some of these potential offers to save you some extra cash on that Marriott Vacation Club timeshare purchase. And if you could, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos and helps out the channel as well. It gets it out there to more people interested in Marriott Vacation Club and timeshare ownership. And if you want to see another video about Marriott Vacation Club and what to watch out for at a timeshare sales presentation, it's the pitch versus the truth. Well, I'll put a link to that video right here. So go over there, check that out. Thanks for watching. And remember, until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.